Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Good real. Bitcoin's here to stay, Bitcoin? and you need to be a part of it. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy, and today I want to tell you about a very important concern of mine about your Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I really believe that sometime soon, conversation of your cryptocurrencies is coming. And I know what you're thinking. How is it possible that someone can actually steal my Bitcoin that's stored in my hardware wallet, in my phone? How is that possible? Well, that's not possible to take. The governments can't confiscate that per se, but they can confiscate your Bitcoin and crypto stored at an exchange. And I want to explain why. I want to explain in detail what's going what I see is going to happen and this is about to, this is going to be one of those I told you so moments if you do not listen I know a lot of people are like you know what Da Vinci I know I know it's not your keys not your Bitcoin I gotta get my Bitcoin out of the exchanges yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I'll get it done but I've told you many times in the past right about exchanges collapsing and you and losing all your your money I told you about empty Gox back in 2013 and I also told you about Cripsy and many others so with that said please listen to this information and then make your own uh, decision do your own research make your own decisions but I really think you should uh, do something about taking at least at the very least 50% of all your net worth and put it in in a hardware wallet or at least in a real wallet that is uh, decentralized and not part of some other uh, exchange. Now, don't get fooled if your exchange says, no, no, you have a wallet. Like Binance says, well, so check out your wallet, right? Um, no, that's not a wallet. It's not your keys. It's not your Bitcoin. If you don't have 12 words associated with that, uh, with your crypto to access it, then uh, that's not a decentralized solution. That is a centralized solution such as uh, Coinbase. So do not cons confuse your Coinbase wallet with a real wallet. That is not a real wallet and that will get confiscated. Okay, with that said, you might say, well, what do you mean confiscated, right? They'll just take it? No, governments do not take from you. They do not steal, per se. <laughs> they actually, what they do is they pay you in the local currency for your cryptocurrencies. That's what they're planning to do. You're like, okay, well, that's not so bad. I can handle that. You just give me the cash and I'll go buy it back. Hold on. Not so fast. <laughs> uh, well, let's start off with an example with uh, United States. They paid everybody for their gold right in dollars right a little bit more than the actual going rate which was well it was actually a fixed rate of twenty dollars per ounce they gave, paid them twenty dollars and sixty four cents and so it seemed like you were getting a deal it of course froze the markets whilst that was happening and then um then they finally just re, re changed the price of gold making everyone who's cashed in their gold lose seventy percent of the value of their money overnight. In modern times, governments have basically converted your dollar accounts or any foreign exchange accounts to their local currency. This has happened in, uh, in Argentina, Venezuela, and most recently, Zimbabwe. So this is what they do. This is what they're planning to do with exchanges. And what I want you to know this is because I feel that this is coming fast. And why do I feel that this is coming fast? We have high inflation that the Federal Reserve cannot defend against. And their talk about how they're planning to defend against inflation is to increase interest rates to 2% over two years. 
do you really believe that a 7% inflation, which will continue to go higher, is going to be able to be fought with a 2% increase in interest rates? No, I didn't think so. We've seen this back in the, in the 80s, kind of heading into the 80s, right, where inflation was running at uh, 7% as well. In order to get the inflation uh, genie back into the bottle, the Federal Reserve had to increase interest rates to 30%. 30%. So, since the Federal Reserve is not talking about an increase to 30%, we can expect inflation to continue to run rapidly and to the point where people start to protect themselves. And then the government has to do something about that. They have to prevent you from protecting yourself. And what are they going to do? They're going to confiscate any of your assets that you believe will protect you from the inflation such as gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. Of course, once again, they will not exactly steal it from you, they will pay you, but then they will reprice those items in the future, like in a short time. So make sure, make sure that you do that. You take possession of your assets, at least 50%. Then you can still gamble with the other 50%. And so that if they do confiscate it, and then they do reprice it, you're, the other 50% will make up for any losses of purchasing power. This is my recommendation to you. I hope you listen to it. I hope you, um, you take a heed warning or even educate yourself on this information. History, uh, it doesn't exactly repeat, it rhymes. You can see throughout history that we've done this over and over again, and I'm putting out this warning to you right now. I hope you listen to it. I hope you, um, you at the very least, do some research. And I appreciate you watching this, this show. And uh, remember, Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay. And you need to be a part of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a new series that I'm going to be working on for the next little while. Um, if you do and you have any kind of topics you want to discuss, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button and all. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.